I am Steve Nevin, president of Advent Lutheran Church of Gosh and Hoppen, and I welcome you to our worship time. This year we are not able to gather in person with our brothers and sisters in Christ at Salford Mennonite Church. Next year, hopefully we'll be able to gather in person. But even though we are restricted, even as the pandemic impacts us so much, we still have many things to be thankful for, and God is still worthy of our thanksgiving and praise. And so we pause to gather online with our Advent family and others who are joining us, to come together in worship and prayer, using parts of the Holden Evening Prayer to join in thanksgiving as we hear words of gratitude from our confirmands and their mentors, and to be reminded of God's promise and presence with us. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, um, it has been an unprecedented year, crazy, with all the, the, the stuff. Yeah. It's unprecedented how many times we've actually heard the word unprecedented. <laughs> Our dream vacation was canceled. You got to keep the job you don't like. <laughs> you know they can see you? But let me tell you all the no's, friends. Um, no going to restaurants, no movie theaters, no movie theater popcorn, no state parks, no going to athletic events, no church services, and no... Don't say it. Don't. Hey, kids! You've got to be more careful with the toilet paper! This is all we have! All the drive-by birthday parties, graduations, <laughs> baby showers. I will say this, I thought it's a little awkward throwing out that baby shower gift into the front yard. You weren't supposed to do that. It just feels like a wasted year. There, I said it, I said it. Yeah, there's, there's just all the time at home. Boom! And all the time that we were made to spend together. Hey, honey! Honey! Leave me alone! All the heart-to-hearts. Mm. Goodness. Speaking of hearts, our son, Jason, right over there, said yes to Jesus. Right at that kitchen table. July 17th, 2020. You know, I guess it's not really wasted time because God didn't waste a moment of it. <laughs> I think I have the answer to what I'm thankful for. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? Everything. A 
A reading from Paul's first letter to the Church of the Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. Paul writes, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything, hold fast to what is good, abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Holy Lord, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but confident that you are with us, leading and supporting us with love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless.